What's going on guys? Welcome to Everything Always. My name's Michael Roman, aka Allfires. It was just days ago we had the writers admit that there was originally a different entrance for Toby and Andrew, a mystery character who was involved with the scene and brought them in at a pivotal moment very close to May's death. It's not often this happens, but while the writer declined to say who that character was, we actually now have the concept art for that exact scene, confirming that mystery character was America Chavez and the reason for her rearrangement, well, had a lot to do with the reshuffling of the Marvel Face Force slate. We've got the artwork for you. We're going to break it down in full, explain what the difference was for Toby and Andrew, how the introduction would have been different, and why that scene really didn't have a place in Spider-Man No Way Home. But first, if you could consider hitting the subscribe button, we do daily Marvel content at the channel, and that's all we do. Everything from official Easter egg breakdowns, trailers, and recaps, all the way to anonymous 4chan plot leaks, industry insider scoops, and everything in between. So if that sort of thing's for you, hit the subscribe button, leave a comment down below. That'll automatically enter you to win our next PS5 giveaway. If you want, stick around to the end of the video. We'll get into all the giveaway stuff again there. Now, if you think back to the earliest parts of Marvel Phase 4 and the original announcement in 2019 for San Diego Comic-Con, Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness was actually set to come long before Spider-Man No Way Home, one leading into the other, meaning had America Chavez shown up in the scene the way it's shown here in this concept art, it wouldn't have been the introduction of a brand new character. Now, because of what the writer said in an interview the other day, we know that this would have been in response to May's death. She would have opened up a portal and brought in Toby and Andrew that way. Instead, because we don't know who this character is, it would have been a lot to believe not only the introduction of her, but hey, by the way, her superpower happens to be opening up portals across space and time. That's how she can bring Toby and Andrew in. Had we already seen her in Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness and understood the extent of her power, then it wouldn't have been too much of a leap to see her show up in Spider-Man No Way Home. And that's how much of an impact the shuffling to the Marvel Phase 4 slate has had on some of these films. We've heard how extensively they've been reshooting Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness, well, because of additional cameos and other things we've talked about in other videos, but because this is how one thing leads to another, Marvel has a great track record of not doing a character if they can't do a character justice that's famously why Beta Ray Bill was not included in Thor Ragnarok. It would have been a lot to believe, oh, by the way, there's this other MCU character, you haven't met her yet, but her superpower happens to be opening up portals across space time. I also think it was a better idea for them to bring Toby and Andrew over the same way that they brought over the villains, because in the end, whenever you're using a spell to clean all this up, that same spill will apply to sending Toby and Andrew back, two birds, one stone kind of thing, whatever cleans it up, cleans it all up, instead of having different means by which they need to be sent back. Now, I briefly mentioned already, you can't be sure how early this was in pre-production or if it actually matched a scene from the script, but this is very different than how we saw May's death go down in the actual film. You can see a Ferris wheel off there in the distance. In the foreground, all these brightly painted, these are all bumper cars, which you can see the sparks there, have electricity, run on electricity. Could it have been that May's death actually came at the hands of Electro instead of Green Goblin, the way it went down in the film? I mean, that is pure speculation, but if the writer actually was talking about this scene in the interview, and this is where she passed, then you would think maybe electricity was more at play. But that is purely, purely speculation at this point. And other than MJ and Ned, Betty Brand and Flash's character aren't in the film past pretty much the beginning of the first act. So maybe the film was very different in different iterations and it got as much rewritten as Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness reportedly has. I like that they didn't do this. I, diehard fans would have known who she was, but also it would have seemed just like too much of a plot narrative device to have someone come in and be able to bring them in a portal. I also think it definitely added uh, to Ned's character in a three-dimensional way for his character arc to leave that door open and show that he may have an affinity for magic. They even made sure to have Doctor Strange acknowledge it to make sure we knew it was a thing. Speaking of being a thing and a narrative plot device, on both accounts, America Chavez's character is overpowered. She can open up portals the way Doctor Strange can, but except across time and space. So bringing in Toby and Andrew would have been no problem. They're going to be on the run here. Now, we've heard a ton of rumors about what's going on in the upcoming film, whether it's Gargantos, Shuma Garath. Interesting note about Shuma Garath, apparently the rights to that character may be tied to Conan, and because of that, they can't use that name, so they're supplanting it with Gargantos. I don't know if there's going to be any comic heads that are upset about that. Either way, whether it's him or a different interdimensional being, or the Scarlet Witch, or even Doctor Strange the What If iteration, the Strange Supreme vying for supremacy, 
across the time space continuum then her superpower is going to come in super handy to whomever can control it that's why she's going to be a major point of contention and of course reading the tea leaves here understanding how king comes into play well you can see how she's going to be very very valuable in that fight as well he's already very in charge of the multiverse knows how to traverse it she's going to be one of the only people who's able to do so i'm afraid of her character becoming just that a plot device where she's needed to sort of always fix problems especially in in this phase that seems to be dealing with the multiverse but i also trust marvel to be able to get this right and this is not a new problem for the mcu guys i brought this up years ago and we haven't really faced it yet but we're about to with the marvels with adam warlock with characters like america chavez we're going to get to a point where the power creep in the MCU, at the very least, is going to create an enormous chasm between some of the power sets for these main characters. And yeah, Marvel's had to deal with this the whole time. Even the Avengers had a very, very vast power set, but we're about to start to get some very serious Omega-level players like Adam Warlock showing up in the MCU. Again, I trust Marvel's going to be able to manage that. It's always happened in the comics, in the universe. There are ultra-scale battles going on. And let's face it, Falcon, Spider-Man, they're not meant to fight the Celestials should Arishim come back and judge the Earth. Characters like Adam Warlock, the Eternals, they're going to be more up for that battle. However, when you have a character like America Chavez who, at the drop of a hat, can open up a portal across space-time, you have a villain like Kang whose whole thing is running the multiverse, uh, well, the plot device kind of, well, writes itself. She undoes a lot of problems. It's a super valuable uh, OP power to have. I'm interested to see how Marvel is going to balance this going forward, and I think something like Secret Invasion is good, going to be a good balance of the two, uh, but Falcon and Captain Marvel say side by side. One seems a little bit redundant <laughs> in their power set. You guys kind of get what I'm saying, but I guess it's been this way all along. Doctor Strange has really been OP the entire time, so is Scarlet Witch, and uh, it hasn't impacted the storytelling too much in a detrimental way. That's why we have to trust Marvel a little bit going forward. Guys, let me know all your thoughts down below. Would you have wanted to see her character in that capacity, or are you pretty uh, glad that they left her out? Um, also, do you see what I'm saying about her power set and how a lot of this multiverse stuff is having to deal with that? So she's going to become like a major plot device here. Well, we'll see how they write it up. I'm ultra interested to see how Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness pans out. I'm glad they delayed it if they need it, which were the rumors, but let me know all your thoughts down below quickly. Let's get into the giveaway stuff before I let you go. Go. All right, we're still giving away a PlayStation 5 and we're doing it now every 20,000 subscribers all the way up to a million. So if you want to be entered to win, all you have to do, hit that subscribe button, leave a comment down below because it's truly random. The more videos you comment on, the better chance you have of winning. All winners will be announced at the end of videos, the same way we're doing here. The best way to keep up with the content has always been to hit the notification bell with all notifications turned on. And as always, if you like today's video, I'd appreciate it if you hit the like button. My name is Michael Roman. You can find me in a couple of places, Instagram and Twitter at IamFires. You can also find me on Spotify, YouTube, Amazon, Apple, iTunes, wherever you listen to original music under the name All Fires. And as much as I'd appreciate you checking that out, thanks for checking this channel out. Stick around. We'll be posting again real soon.